Did you eat magnetic food for breakfast? Let's add some water and then put it in the ninja. <laughs> It's kind of like oatmeal. Let's mix up our slurry. We'll put this really big magnet beside it and we'll see what happens. No way. Can you see this? What do you think that is? Let's experiment with cereal today. Flynn Dog Science. With me, Caleb Flynn. Is cereal magnetic? It moved, look at that. It's moving. And if so, why would it be magnetic? Oh my gosh. Look at that. Here are three cereals we'll look at. Toasted O's, Almond Crunchy Honey Oats, and Total. Which one's your favorite? I'm probably a Toasted O's with honey on top guy. First, let's open up each one of our boxes. Then we'll drop them in some water and put a strong neodymium magnet next to them. Watch what happens to the cereal as it floats with the neodymium magnet near. You see, it's like the cereal is being attracted to the magnet. That is surprising. Now let's open up and check out our almond crunchy oats. That's really strange. I would think all cereal would move really similar, but for some reason, the almond crunchy oats is not moving nearly as much. Why do you think some of the cereals are more magnetic than other cereals? As you look down the Cheerios label, what you'll notice is iron. You see how much iron's in there? 14.4 milligrams or 80% of your daily dose of iron in this cereal. Here's our almond crunchy oats. The iron has 5.4 milligrams. That's 30% of our daily dose. The total, when we look at its iron content, it has 18 milligrams per serving. That's 100% of our daily iron need. Let's see which cereals are attracted to our magnet the most. Which one of those cereals responded to the magnet the most? Which one the least? Do you see how they're connected now? Let's see if we can get some of that iron out of the cereal. Now let's bring our magnet close. Oh, cool. 80% iron in those Cheerios. The little pieces are moving. They're small enough now to be influenced by the magnetic field. Now let's try the total 100% of our daily iron need. Once you smash it, we see even more movement. You gotta try this one. Let's look at the bottom of the magnet. Oh! If you're enjoying this experiment, could you honk that like button? I appreciate it. That helps it spread to more people. Now, I saw the powder moving. That's wild. But I didn't see any iron. Total has the most iron, so let's examine that a little more closely. There's 18 milligrams of iron in here per 40 milligrams of total cereal. Now that's for one cup. I eat cereal by the half box. That's a lot of cups. What I'm gonna do is double it. Two cups, 80 milligrams. Let's weigh that out and we'll see how much iron is present there. That should give us 36 milligrams of iron present somewhere in that cereal. Now that we have 80 grams of total cereal in a blender cup, let's add some water and then put it in the ninja. Let's pour the slurry in a beaker now. It's kind of like oatmeal. Let's dilute this a little more. Let's mix up our slurry. We'll put this really big magnet beside it and we'll see what happens. What do you think's gonna happen? Why was this cereal magnetic? Oh man. Wow. This is so cool. No way. Can you see this? Let me try to show you. Right there. Look at all that. What do you think that is? Those are straight up iron shavings. 
in our cereal. Who would have thought? I never thought there was just iron floating around in our cereal. That is really, really cool. Let's try this. Let's put our magnet in a bag. And we'll go fishing with our magnet. Oh, cool. You see these iron shavings? They're coming right out of our cereal. That is so cool. Well, I guess that shows why the cereal's magnetic. Huh, let's see if we can get some more. See that iron right there? Wow, all from the cereal. Cool, all that iron. There it is, all that iron from our cereal. Wow. And what do we do with that iron that we've eaten? We're making blood. Isn't that rad? We're making red blood cells. Well, pieces, they go in the red blood cells. Your red blood cells are carrying oxygen and every single red blood cell has iron inside of it so that we can get oxygen all throughout our bodies. Consider this. Do you think men or women need more iron? Let me know in the comments. For an even more surprising experiment, check out down in the description how water stops boiling on really hot surfaces. Very good. Stale. It's been sitting on the counter for about a day and a half. No milk or moisture. It's exactly how I like my Cheerios. off-brand toasted oats. Ah, yeah.